All right, so final boss time. Um, so yeah, he'll drop you into the room below where you just fought the dark nuts, and then Vadi will come and he will transform. This is a three-form boss or a three-part boss, I should say. First part, I don't know. Everybody says this is the easiest part, but I have the hardest time with this part. Um, take out your gust jar. That's the only other weapon you'll need. Try not to get hit like by the fireballs because you'll start running. What you want to do is hit the eyeballs. Um, and then if he pulls them in and sends out like a dark matter thing, use your gust jar. Otherwise, that'll do lots of damage to you. Now, if you get hit by the uh, fireballs, you'll start to run around crazily, and it's kind of annoying when that happens. So, uh, yeah, it took me a couple of times. When he has two eyes, I think it's the hardest to hit his eyes because he will not use this laser beam attack that I'll show you later. But so far, and then when you hit all the eyes around him, his middle eye will open up. Just hit that as many times as you can. Then he'll send out four eyes. And see this laser attack here? If you're on the side of it, it makes it much easier to hit his eyes. So, um, right here I used a red potion because just in case like one of those dark matter things hit me or something like that. But, um... And then I couldn't find my gust jar. <laughs> um, so, yeah. He'll always send a dark matter thing or whatever it is out at you after pulling in his eyes. So just remember that. Um, and then, I mean, if you can get, like, to a certain point where all of them are at that same level of around him, um, it's easier to hit him. Now, the third or yeah the third time they'll all have little energy things around them so you won't be able to hit them with these you just pull them off with the gust jar now when he uses his laser beam attack it's much easier to hit him because well i mean they move to the side and they're standing right there for you just like that so get the last one off of him and there you go. Now hit his eye. He might like teleport once or twice. Um, I think the third time he teleports once, and then the fourth time he teleports twice. So um, next time, and I didn't know this, but you could actually you can actually use your gust jar to get rid of the flames. I tried that later, and I got hit because I wasn't doing it, you know, enough. But I guess you can do that. So, yeah. I tried to come over here and use my gust jar at one point, and they hit me because. I'm dumb, but, uh, anyways, um, like I said, the laser beam is the best time to hit his eyes, because it's just, see, right there, I tried to, but I missed it, so, maybe you start to run around, because, especially when he moves across with him, because it's very easy to just, uh, dodge that, so, um, and then just stand right there. And of course, I got hit by a fireball again. So yeah, like I said, the, the, I I have the most pro most trouble with this form actually. So, um, <coughs> so just to let you know, that's just me though. You guys might think it's easier. See the fourth time, yeah. And then there you go. Now on to his second form. This one is quite a bit easier. I mean, quite a. Uh, it's you'll see. Um, uh, to me, anyways, y you probably won't take too much damage. It, the part about this is that it's just annoying because you have to copy yourself. You can see his eyes now. Pull out your arrows, and it's going to be a random pattern each time on his eyes. The first one, however, will always be the four on the bottom. So just remember that. Now it's nice to have the joy butterfly, but uh, yeah, because you can shoot arrows faster. And it's also nice to have that speedy, you know, charge up thing. So once you kill them all, you just want to start slashing at his eye. Now those little um, energy things or whatever they are, um, you can actually hit them with your sword. And then the sparks, you can't. But you see the second one here was all on the right side. So you just copy that. And it's it's really easy to dodge most of his attacks. The thing that I hate about him is later on, he'll start to move and he'll start to push you while you're... Uh, doing that and it'll get in your way of you know charging up. He's just a really annoying part instead of uh, you know it's le it's less uh, less 
hard, more annoying, really. All right, so the second one, the first time I did this, it was on the left side, but you'll see it'll be blue, and it'll make a weird noise if it isn't, so it was all on the bottom. And I think the bottom's the easiest just because he doesn't really go down there much. So, and I think you only need to hit him like once with all the eyeballs to let that happen. So, the next side was all on the left side. I don't think I had any right here that was on the bottom, but it that does happen. So, this is annoying because he made me copy both those parts. And one nice thing is that he, he'll never close those eyes. So, like, you know, if if you take too long to do it, it his eyes will stay open, you know, forever. So, you want to get him and then um, hit as, mu as much as you can. And he'll also make rocks fall, which isn't really that much, that bad. I mean, oh, I guess there was one completely in the back. I didn't, I forgot about that. All right. So, uh, anyway, sometimes those, like, I like to call them dark matter because that's what they look like. I don't know. Uh, um, sometimes those can get in your way too when you're walking. You can get rid of those with sword slashes though. Alright, this part is the most annoying when he moves around the most. Like, pretty much he's very close to death because it, it is really hard to hit those things with his, uh, it's really hard to hit his eyes with arrows. And then on top of that, he'll move around and he'll break up your clones if he hits you. So, I mean, you. And there we go. So now that is going to bring us to the next phase and the last phase. But first, we are going, uh, he, well, I guess he's dead. What? We killed Vadi.